Hey y'all, Kim Lewis here, and I'm super excited because today we're going to be starting a color series on the design show. As you know, I absolutely love color. I use it in most all of my designs. I love to take risk with color, and so I'm excited to teach you how to not be overwhelmed with how to pick a paint color. So just to give you a little bit of context of why I'm standing outside, we live in a tiny house. And so I actually wanted, and besides that, I wanna be outside when I'm picking paint colors. So we're in our yard. Literally went to Home Depot, picked up some drywall in the back of Pearl. So here we are in the middle of the hill country, which is the perfect setting because I'm outside. Now, I'm gonna tell you a few things to do and a few things not to do. But today we're starting with color trends for spring 2019. So I've picked six colors that I believe are on trend right now in fashion, in home decor, in architecture, everywhere. So let's start with what to do, number one, in terms of when or how to pick a paint color. So for number one, how to pick a paint color, you start with your inspiration, whether it's a rug or a tile or a vase. So I've gathered some things that I wanted to use as examples. Now I think the best way to teach you how to pick paint is to lead by example. So I'm gonna show you exactly my process every single time I pick a paint color. So let's just start with this one. This is a terracotta plate that I found. Now I'm gonna be using it to put some candles on. This color is very on trend right now. We see it in tile, paint colors. So I've this top left corner is my color match. Now. When you're picking a paint color, like I said, you start with your inspiration. So I'm gonna start with this as my inspiration. The second rule, always y'all, always go outside or get near a window. You've gotta use natural sunlight to pick your paint colors. I've walked into hardware stores so many times and seen people trying to pick colors under those nasty warehouse fluorescent lights and it's not, don't do it y'all, it's a mistake. You will literally get home and be like, I don't know what this color is. Take that paint chip, take that paint sample outside to look at it. You wanna use, this is my third rule. Oh, and this is, these are my rules every time. Inspiration, natural sunlight to, so that your eyes are seeing the true color. And because if you're using in, um, incandescent light or halogen light, no matter what, if you're using unnatural light bulbs to pick a paint color, it's gonna skew the paint color. You wanna use the most natural light. Now I also suggest to look at a paint chip in both direct sunlight and indirect sunlight. So take it out in the sun and then also look at it in the shade because those are gonna look like maybe two, you'll see the variations of the color the best way if you look at it in direct sunlight and indirect sunlight, so go into the shade. Now, when you're picking a paint color, now <laughs> you can tell I use my paint deck a lot. When you're picking a paint color, the third thing that is so important so important y'all is gather all you want to use the paint deck like a, a deck of cards right so a deck of cards has what 52 cards you never want to play a game with just 50 cards um, and so it's the same thing like when I'm picking a paint color I want to go and pull say it's this terracotta I'm gonna go in and pull all the colors that I think are close even even like remotely close to that terracotta color. And even as an expert, I still do this, y'all. So I'll even kind of find myself cat, like pulling colors that I already know aren't quite right, but it helps me get to the right color because when you start putting all of these colors next to each other, they start telling you what color they are and what they are not. So you'll start seeing, oh, that color has more green in it or it has more blue in it. I mean, it will speak loud and clear if you're outside. And so, and then if you're trying to match, a, a, you know, our inspiration piece, you'll be able to see it in broad daylight that like, this is skewing a little bit more red. This one's a little bit more muted and it'll help you decide. Maybe I want a saturated color or maybe I want to go more muted. Depends on how you're using the paint color. Um, but this is that you have to use the paint chips against each other. Basically play them like a deck of cards against each other and that'll lead you to the right color every time. Now, also, I tend to look at the whole card as a unit because again, even if I'm looking at a light color, I know if it's on this card and this card has a little bit more, say, red in it, 
I'm going to see that in no matter which, which card or which color I pick from on this line of it's heat, the color of hues. So now I want to show you a little bit more of my inspiration for spring 2019. As I said, terracotta. Now this is, so I'm going to give you examples of how or where you might want to use these trending colors. So terracotta, I would say this could be a really beautiful uh, paint color if you're painting stucco on the outside of a house and you want to go for this kind of either Mexican or Moroccan vibe. You kind of want to pull in shades of the desert, maybe get that Joshua tree feeling. So if I want something really earthy, this is a great color. I also love seeing this color on the interior. Maybe consider doing um, a, a nursery, for example, and, and maybe it can be kind of a very gender neutral nursery if you're kind of waiting to see maybe which gender you're having, you could use this. Um, and maybe consider just painting it up to, you know, the wainscoting, and then above that you could go with a really light cream or white. So, because this can, this can be a very heavy color um, in, a, in a lot of, uh, in a big saturation or big context. So, terracotta, beautiful way to bring the outdoors in. Y'all know I love doing that. Now let's move on to another color. We're gonna just follow my little chart. This color over here, so this is a dusty blush. Also, we're seeing it everywhere, in tile especially. A lot of our terrazzo tiles are kind of using this hue. So I went to the store and picked up this beautiful little hand, you know, face cloth. Just to show you, maybe this is my inspiration. This color is great for somewhere like a bathroom where I want it to feel very spa-like, breath of fresh air, I can rest better. Um, du dusty blush is really on trend. It's kind of a new neutral. And so we're seeing this color actually take over even the rooms that we're painting all white. So I highly recommend, if you wanna do something just a little bit different, but you still want this room to feel very serene and quiet and restful, dusty blush. Now, so you can see, this is almost a perfect match. Now I used the paint color from Sherwin-Williams called Pink Shadow. So again, when I started pulling the colors, you're gonna see that Pink Shadow skews a little bit. It has kind of a little bit of a gray undertone to get sort of that dustiness. Um, so it can actually even kind of look a little bit like a mauve, which was very uh, popular in the 80s when I was born. But uh, this color is really beautiful. So highly recommend it if you're going for a little bit of a feminine touch. Um, and kind of want to do something that's not white and just to bring in a beautiful spa feel. So that is Dusty Blush. Okay, the third color over here I'm super excited about. It's Electric Blue. Y'all, when I started putting this on this canvas, I literally got giddy. And I couldn't help myself but picked up two things because I really love this color right now. Electric Blue is very hot right now. And I think we're going to actually see it carry through the summer and the rest of 2019. So. Electric blue is a color you could use um, if you're if you're not sure about it and you want to do something a little different and and also you're willing to take a risk, um, which I highly recommend. Try painting your kitchen island this color. That could add a pop of color in your kitchen in just the right space. This color is is honestly, y'all, it's timeless. Even though it's trending right now, this color is timeless. We also see this in a lot of appliances. Um, one of my favorite companies. Um, Blue Star has uh, this color in their range and refrigerators, and so that's also a really fun way to add this color into your kitchen. So I highly recommend this. These are actually ceramics from Portugal, and couldn't help myself, they're really beautiful. Now, this color that I got is Frank Blue from Sherwin-Williams, just for reference. Now, this blue uh, skews a little bit violet, as you can tell. So going back to that, the point that I made, in the beginning, when you're picking a color, you want to pull what all the colors that you think it might be, okay? And so I've done that for you guys here. Now, when you start really zooming in and looking at these, comparing them side by side, you're gonna see that this one to the left, indigo, is much darker. So it doesn't quite give it that electric feeling. This one, honorable blue, is gonna be a little bit more touch of navy, so it's gonna also skew a little bit darker. And then you pull this one up and, you're, and this one's Dignity Blue. Next to the Frank Blue, you can tell Dignity Blue has a lot more green in it. 
And so that helps me show, see that this is definitely, Frank Blue is definitely the right electric blue for what I'm going for. So moving on to the fourth color, Jadeite. I love this color, y'all. So my inspiration for this was nature itself. This is actually a eucalyptus piece that I picked up and it's gonna last for a long time in our house, but you can tell that it's not an exact match and that's okay, I'm not going for that. In fact, if I were teaching you about winter color trends, I would have gone darker to match this better, but I'm pulling the lighter tones of eucalyptus for the jadeite color. Now, jadeite kinda has a hint of teal um, this is a great color for um, a guest bedroom, an office space, even if you could paint this on your uh, on a door, like interior door, or on your front door. Because jadeite is a natural, very natural color, but it has just enough of a jewel tone that makes it really, um, get, gives it a little bit of a pop and gives it more of a jewel tone that's perfect for the spring. So our next color is persimmon. And this I picked up, a co I picked up a coffee mug, which is another ceramic, but persimmon is also a very um, trending color. It's got a very um, underlying kind of tone of coral, which we know coral was the Pantone color of the year. So we're skewing from that and going a little bit lighter, a little bit more pink. So you can tell this color is a really good match. Now, if you, you can see that persimmon and the terracotta are very similar. So if I'm using these two colors in the same space, I'm gonna put those two paint chips together and see kind of how they correlate. And that might make me change one of the colors to a more saturated color. Cause you do wanna make sure if you're using two paint colors in one space, you wanna make sure they have just enough contrast so that they don't look too similar. So see how they have they have just enough. The, the terracotta color has a lot more saturation. It's, more, it's got more depth. So if I'm using two paint colors in a space, I wanna make sure one of them is richer than the other. Um, so this is a great combination that brings in a lot of outdoor elements. And our last color, but not least, even though it's the one you can least see on the drywall piece, I'm sorry for that, is Inspired Lilac. So this is actually, and honestly, y'all, I've never been much of a purple girl, to be honest, but it's a, it's a very popular color right now, especially in bathrooms. Um, at the Builder Trade Show at IBS and KBiz, we actually saw that Kohler had introduced one of their, their newest color this year is a lavender tone for the bathroom. And I think that's because lavender does create a sense of serenity and peacefulness for a spa feeling, which we definitely like that in bathrooms. So I picked up a piece of art. This is actually a local Austin designer, illustrator. Her name is Leah Duncan and I'll tag her here. Um, I love artists. And so, and of course they, this is often like the core of my inspiration art is can be so inspiring especially when picking the design and a vibe and a paint color so i pulled the lavender actually from the bottom of this paint painting and you can see i'm so sorry you can barely see it out here but it is there now what i like about the fact that you can barely see it is if you don't want to do white but you want to do something a little bit different say for your kid's bedroom this is a perfect color. It gives you just enough of something on the wall and the lavender skews a little bit gray. So gray has been trending for years, as we know. I do think that brown is gonna start coming back, but gray can give us a sense of calm, um, peace, peace, peaceful tones in a room. And so this is a great, a, a great color for a bedroom. There's actually studies out there that show if you have a paint color in a bedroom that feels a little bit softer and has um, tones of either light purple or light blue or light green, and I'm talking very light, you can, there's studies that show people actually sleep better in those, in those settings. This concludes Spring Colors Trends 2019. Um, a couple of things that I want you to take away are the do nots. So for those of you out there that are truly overwhelmed when you go into the hardware store to pick a paint color. I hear you, I see you. 
come to me, I will help you. I literally love picking paint colors. So let me just tell you what not to do. Do not pick a paint color inside with nasty light bulbs. Do not ever pick a paint color based on the name of the paint color. I mean, there, it's so tempting, right? You're looking through the paint deck and it says like terracotta. Literally at the Sherwin-Williams store, there's a color called terracotta. I did not pick it. It was not the terracotta I was going for. So don't pick a paint color based on the name, as tempting as it is. And don't be afraid. Like, don't have fear of color. Life is way too short for beige. There are so many fun colors out there that can really help the psychology and your design to give it more cheerfulness, to give it more calmness. So your color, the color of your home, the color of your design, whatever you're designing can really drive the feeling and the emotion in that space. So don't be afraid. Keep coming back. I'm going to keep teaching you more about paint colors. I could honestly talk to you about this for days. We'll look at other paint trends. We'll look at pick, picking paint colors in a different tone, in a different hue. Continue talking about what to do, what not to do. Whatever it is, don't be overwhelmed and bring more color into your spaces. We'll see you next time. It's getting dark. What? It's getting dark. Yeah, I mean, well, I guess I'm getting, well, you, should finish, you should finish up. Hi, Sunny. Well, I'm having fun. All right. I guess I got carried away. Sunny! That's cool. Sunny can paint. I'm using my fingers. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> See you next time. Sunny can finger paint. <laughs>